Yo, what's up with it, y'all? This is JD Travel Stenix, and I'm back with another quick video. Just got finished with a leg workout, and also just got finished taking a little dip in the water, cool down after my workout. I'm out here at, I forget the name, I'm gonna put the name of this, uh, this beach park in the description, but it's a dope little park, great little open field, whatever. But that's not really what I wanted to make the video about today. I wanted to make the video about phone addiction and how it's something that I feel like a lot of us are going through right now, myself in particular. And I've been practicing a few different things to try to minimize my phone addiction and minimize my dependency on using the cell phone, using the smartphone. And before I get into the video and before I get into talking about this phone addiction problem, um, if you're new to the channel and you're interested in travel, fitness, overall growth content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can get updated every time I drop new content. Now let's get back into the video. So when it comes down to the phone addiction, what I mean by phone addiction is that you're just unnecessarily on your smartphone. I understand that the world is getting more and more digital and our dependency on that smartphone is getting greater and greater, but we have to kind of we have to try to maintain a certain level of reality because living through our phone is definitely not a reality and it's something that I feel like is actually becoming a sickness and it's causing a lot of people depression it's causing a lot of people anxiety and some of the ways that I feel like it's causing a lot of people anxiety is that people go on social media so much it's just something where it's like second nature to go on social media all day long and check what everybody else is doing and check how everybody else is living life to the point where we almost forget to live our own life and I'm not necessarily saying that's something that I ha definitely had a problem with, but I definitely had a problem with just going on my phone in general. And checking social media actually was one of those problems, but it never I wouldn't say that social media ever caused me depression or anxiety because I don't really trip too hard off what other people are doing. I'm not necessarily the jealous type of person or somebody who's really too worried about what everybody else is doing. It just got to become a habit. So for me, I'm somebody who actually didn't have social media for years and years and years. And I recently got back on Instagram because I wanted to start a fitness page. And of course, getting on Instagram, even if it's just for business or even if it's just to start a fitness page, the problem is, is that a lot of people who you know are gonna reach out, follow you, and you're gonna feel obligated to follow them back. So I have a lot of people who I know who are on Instagram, who message me, whose stories always pop up different things of that nature but to make a long story short um, a lot of times I would be checking my Instagram you know to see if anybody messes me about any business inquiries or anything like that but it just got to a habit where when I was checking to see if anybody sent me a message I'll scroll through a little bit or I'll start looking at people's stories and it just got to the point where it almost got addicting to just get on Instagram and look at people's stories and look at people's uh what's going on in people's lives to the point where i was spending way too much time on instagram and when i say way too much time i mean like an hour to an hour and a half a day on that instagram app you can if you guys want to know how much uh time you're consuming on different apps if you guys have an iphone it will actually break down to you how many hours how many minutes you're spending a day on every on different apps and for me the main two apps that i was using was youtube and instagram so to make a long story short, with the Instagram, of course, I still use Instagram for my fitness page, but what I do now is that I get on in the morning, I check my Instagram messages, and then I delete the app for the rest of the day. And then I'll probably download it again at night, check my messages, delete the app for the night. And that's one way that I've minimized my phone usage. Another thing that I think is extremely, extremely important and this is probably the biggest step that I've taken in terms of minimizing my phone addiction and minimizing my phone dependency is that I had a bad habit of every day when I woke up, the first thing I would do was run to my phone. I, not run to my phone, obviously, but I would go grab my phone. I would check my messages. I would see if anybody messaged me. Um, I would check Instagram. I would check YouTube, see what's going on, see if you know anybody left any comments on any of my videos or anything like that. And it just got to the point where immediately every single day I was being consumed by electronics and I was being consumed by 
everybody else, the outside world, and I was being consumed by social media, all these different factors. And something that I started doing this week, and actually it's only been three days since I've been doing it, but the, the, I feel so much better from this practice and I'm gonna keep doing it going forward and I'm gonna keep you guys updated on my, on my morning ritual. And this is something I've added to my morning ritual is that before I touch my phone, before I turn on the television, before I even open up my windows every morning, the last three days what I've been doing is I've been getting up, stretching for about a good 15 to 20 minutes, doing some breath work, doing some breathing techniques, doing some meditation, drinking 26 ounces of water just because I have a 26 hour, uh, ounce water bottle, um, and then taking a shot of apple cider vinegar, cleaning up my apartment, straightening things up. I go to my notebook, write down exactly what I wanna do for the day. And by doing these things, it takes about an hour. And that's just an hour that I'm actually spending strictly to myself before I even let the outside world in. And it's been making me feel a lot better over the last three days. And it's something I wanna continue doing going forward. And normally I don't really like to post videos of things that I'm doing prematurely, but I think this is something that's really important. And over the last three days, I haven't really spent too much time on my phone. So I think that has something to do with it as well. So in general, I would just say, this is just a quick video. I just wanted to fill you guys in. Pretty much, I, mostly I wanted to fill you guys in on that morning ritual that I'm doing, but also on that technique that I've actually been doing with Instagram. And that's just check my messages, maybe make a post every once in a while, delete the app, and whenever I wanna go back on, check my messages, delete the app. Because I find myself throughout the day sometimes just picking up my phone, being bored, and wanting to go on the Instagram app. Because I think that's pretty much where everybody kinda, get sucked into the phone rabbit hole is that you get bored and you just it's a smartphone it has so many different things that you can do it's almost like a device that just keeps you from being bored because there's always something to do on a phone you can surf the net you can go to youtube you can go on espn.com or whatever your fancy is but anyways you guys if you guys have struggled with phone addiction in the past and if you guys feel like you're uh depending on your your smart device let me know in the comment section if you guys have made some strides to get over that. Also, please share those in the comment section because I would like to know for myself and I'm sure a lot of other people would like to know too on what type of tactics people use to stay off of their phone because in 2020, we're in a digital age and everything is running through the smartphone, everything's running through the computer. So we always feel obligated to be on the computer and be on, be on the smartphone. And for a lot of us, the computer and the smartphone is how we make our living as well. So answering text messages, answering direct messages, answering emails is something that we have to do constantly. But finding a balance between digital and reality is something that I'm trying to work on. And I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of people out there who are in the same boat. But anyways, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have something to comment, go ahead and chime in. I uh, hope everybody's having a great day. I surely am. I'm out here in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. Just got finished getting some, some uh, water action in. Just got finished getting an outdoor workout in at this beautiful park. So yeah, man, life is good for me. And I'm gonna try to stay off the phone as much as possible today other than the necessities in terms of answering clients and doing some computer work that I normally do every day. But anyways, you guys, hope everybody's having a great day. I'll holla at you guys later. Peace.